Nobody wanna see us together. Nobody wanna see us together. No, 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 no. Um, my name is Mbe Mbele. Um, born in Soweto, Zolotu. Moved to Newcastle, KZN. Um, came to Joburg to study at VET. Got expelled and wrote a book. So the title of the book is called Crazy Father and Other Very Short Lies. So it's an anthology of short stories, um, a compilation basically of short stories. Um, speaking on a, on a number of issues, um, well, the major themes that affect black, black people in general, which is questions around fatherlessness, uh, questions around space, which directly links to the land. Question. Well, I agree with a lot of things that the EFF says, and I identify with the EFF. But I, I, I think for me it is very problematic to like say, okay, I'm an EFF member because that would mean that I have to agree with them even when I disagree with them. So I, I try to put myself within a box so that I don't limit my expression, and I'm not limited in how I say certain things and in what I want to say. But yes, I do share a lot of, uh, of, of ideas uh, uh, with the EFF. Once you, once you get exposed to the truth, you stop seeing certain things in a certain way. Uh, so after reading Fanon, after reading Biko, and after engaging with certain political texts, black radical thought, as it were, I, I, I could not support the ANC and it was around the question of land and the question of ownership of South Africa. And the ANC became this organization that is just a bodyguard of white privilege. And the ANC is an organization that appeals to white sensibilities. The ANC for me um, has failed to radically change the condition of black people in South Africa. Not to suggest that they ever promise to, you know, like completely liberate black people, but it seems that they are becoming overtly an organization that is just trying to please white people and to feed those who are within, who are within the ranks. Um, and it's just about politics of, of, of eating. And for me, it is difficult to understand why um, I would want to participate in that organization, at least if I truthfully and honestly envisage a future where black people are able to live outside of being subjects of white people, either economically, socially and politically. And I don't think that the ANC is a vehicle that can be used to achieve an azania. I think Nelson Mandela is used to pacify black people in this country. He's used to facilitate some sort of collaboration with white people or is used as this thing that makes us think that the rainbow is possible, like black and white people can coexist and we have solved all the antagonisms that we had. Uh, now we must just move forward as a country. So Nelson Mandela fosters an unremembering of some sort of our history and of our past. Um, and he is used to deceive the masses into thinking that post-1994 there has been a radical shift in how the black, the black subject in South Africa lives. And, and, and that is an illusion because South Africa remains an apartheid country, post-apartheid, apartheid South Africa, because the conditions and the hierarchies that existed during uh, apartheid still exist now. White people have the money, white people have the privilege, black people are poor, black people are dying everywhere, uh, the police still shoot uh, uh, workers in the same way they did in apartheid, they do it in Marikana. And the only thing that is different is that there is a black face that is used to achieve the same object. That the ANC should probably be in a museum right now because it is old and young people who have a lived experience and who understand what is happening with the country should, should lead. And obviously I don't want to suggest that we do not need guidance from those 
who are old and probably wise. But I, I think the guys who should be at the forefront of the struggle are young people and FISMA's fall was also not that I celebrate FISMA's fall as something that was radical or as something, but it showed us the possibility of what young people can do or a possibility of how we can struggle and how we can take it to the streets. Of course, I wish the moment had lasted longer and so on and so forth. It did not, to my disappointment. But the point is, young people were at the forefront of that in the same way that they were at the forefront of the 1976 re revolutionary moment. Um, Cuba, Chuck Guevara is very young. The Black Panther guys are young. The Harlem Renaissance guys who do jazz and so on and so forth are very young when they create those genres and they stretch how we can imagine being black and existing in the world. Nobody wanna see us together.